Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today we have some pretty dire news from the Galactic War. The Automatons are making a huge move and they have brought along some new toys with them. And these fellas are called the Jet Brigade, but we'll get into that very, very soon. First, I'm going to start off with the last major order, which was a success. The Helldivers have established and held a protective border around Agamar 4, allowing the successful construction of the first ever Terminal research preserve are intrepid xeno entomologists have conducted the first of many specimen collections and are already reporting great strides towards our understanding of e710 extraction and exploitation past lessons learned from the failure of the terminated farms have been applied to guarantee the preserve security the terminated population is monitored at all times by seaf wardens and encircled by electrical fencing above and below ground and in the unlikely event of a containment breach nuclear bombardment are set to automatically trigger. Yes, we will nuke the bugs if they dare to break out again. Excitingly, a small part of the preserve has allocated to the new Tyranny Park, where adventurous and well-paying citizens will be able to observe the terminates in their natural environment. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have somehow reached peak capitalism, where we are doing a theme park around the terminates. Democracy, baby! <laughs> Some particularly bold patriots may even participate in a big tyrant hunt. This exciting venture will both help fund future research and deepen our citizens' understanding of the horrors of tyranny. Finally, and most importantly, this auspicious victory will allow the construction of the DSS to continue on schedule. So we managed to succeed in our last major order against the Terminants. However, it does mean we swing back over to the bot front because they have made a major, major move and are currently attacking Marta Bay. We have an emergency alert here saying automaton warships have appeared in massive numbers in the atmosphere of Marta Bay. Multiple sea bases have already fallen. Reports indicate the presence of an organ augmented automaton detachment leading the invasion equipped with jetpack technology. Yes, that's right. They fly even more now. This detachment will be referred to as the Jet Brigade in all communications. Intel indicates that the automatons have discovered the existence of the DSS project and this invasion is a brute force attempt to discover its location or that of its supporting substations. If the Jet Brigade is not stopped, the logistics hub, the Deep Mantle Forge complex or the DSS itself could be jeopardized. The size of this assault is unprecedented. Some loss of territory may be unavoidable, but every bot decommissioned will weaken the strength of their advance. All Helldivers are ordered to immediately deploy to the defense of Marta Bay. The automatons cannot be allowed to discover the location of the DSS or its substations. So we are in dire straits with this one, ladies and gentlemen. The ridiculous amount of automatons that are being sent at Marta Bay means that the defense on the Marta Bay is extremely difficult to maintain. We are currently losing with just under nine hours to go as of recording this video, because the decay on this for us versus the bots is crazy. Of course, there are multiple websites where you can look at the Galactic War progress and certain stats and everything. And I think I saw somewhere that it was 60K players are needed on Mana Bay to actually win this defense. If we are to match the onslaught of the bots, we have to have 60,000 Helldivers on Mana Bay defending it pretty much at all times to even have a chance of succeeding. And as you can see, that is not going very, very well. As of recording this video right now, there are 40,000 people on Marta Bay. Of course, these are off-peak times because it's quite late in America and very early in Europe. It's the afternoon here in Australia on the weekend. But with it being the weekend, we have a very good chance of actually meeting that number. But it's not looking great. We'd need some serious, serious firepower to even combat this. Now, as mentioned in the briefing, there is a new automaton type. These are basically the jet troopers of the automatons enhanced. They are way quicker, fly way higher, and are way more dangerous because they travel in huge packs and they move so quick 
that it's pretty scary when they're all coming at you at once. We have a little blurb here that describes the Jet Brigade. The automatons have deployed a new series of specialized models on this planet. These upgraded bots utilize stolen jump pack technology heartlessly pillaged from the bodies of fallen Helldivers and reverse engineered into something nearly unrecognizable. Now I apologize in advance because as you probably know if you've watched any of my other videos, I tend to use the jump pack quite a bit, especially since the most recent balance patch, which was the last sort of big patch Patch for the 60 day plan and let me tell you phenomenal patch a huge huge bust for a lot of the things just some standouts for me were the jump pack and the scorcher getting in automatic mode that thing against the bots now oh so good but yes as you may already know i use the jump pack quite a bit so i apologize i've died quite a bit as well so i've probably contributed to this problem I'll be honest, I don't think we can succeed in this major order. This is definitely the most difficult one we've had in a long time. We have four days and eight hours to defend against one attack from the automatons. You can see that they have a fleet over Marta Bay. You can see the Jet Brigade icon next to the planet as well. This might give us some clues of what we can expect in the future if there's special types or special variants of enemies on certain planets. We'll see them when we're looking at the galactic map. Just something even more helpful to know what's going on, which planets have what assets and etc etc. And as bad as this looks for us, it's extremely fun. Time and time and again, I am blown away by how good this game is, how good the community is, and the devs know how to enhance your experience by using things in their arsenal and sort of twisting things that the community do a lot and making it into a narrative. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this major order. Do you think we will succeed? Do you think we will fail? My money is on fail, unfortunately, for this one. We'll see how we go. But let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Held Over. 2 content. Become a member today if you want to support me in another way. You'll get early access to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!